In this video, I will show how to use a macro in Abacus to automate tasks that you find yourself performing repeatedly. You can automate tasks like printing the current viewport or applying a predefined view or plotting or saving any particular results from your Abacus model. This can save you a lot of time because macros can record the sequence of all the clicks and uh, next time when you are performing the same task instead of uh, going through all those sequence of clicking you can just run the macro this can uh, do the same work instantly let's learn macro by an example right now i am in the visualization module so let's say after the job is completed, I have come to the results. I am willing to set two different viewports here such that in one window, I can see the deformation in the width and in another window, I can see the deformation through the thickness. So I will set it up, but um, before I set up the window, all the clicks that is necessary to do so, I am going to record them in a Abacus macro. To start recording, I will go to file and then macro manager. Here I will create a macro. Let's name it uh, linking viewports home is fine continue and the macro recording has started so any click or sequence of click that i make now in this uh, abacus ca gui will be recorded and once i am happy with uh, all my setting up of the window i will just click stop and this macro named the linking viewports will be saved and i will show next that how i can use this macro and save some time for me so let's start setting up my window what i want is to create a viewport and as i have two viewports i want to tile them vertically so one here and one there so two of both of them are now linked i will unlink them while this viewport is selected let's have this uh, deformation in the width direction here uh, we'll also make sure that uh, this deformation scale factor is one here and uh, the deformation scale factor is also uniform and one here now i will select this viewport and uh, look at the thickness direction uh, here i will go back to viewport and link both of these viewports such that when i run the simulation so this is not zoomed properly so let's uh, unlink the viewport zoom this one separately such that both of them has the similar dimensions and uh, now i will go back and link this viewport and run the deformation and here i can see the reduction in the width and in, from this point of view i can see the reduction in the thickness of this specimen as we pull it up now i am happy with uh, setting up this window so i will stop recording now this uh, specimen has been pulled by 50 millimeters so what i'm gonna do i will uh, go to the normal view in just one viewport let's say you have made several changes for example could have changed the element type or instead of pulling this end by 50 millimeter you want to pull it up by only 30 millimeter and see uh, how the width and thickness reduces so let's accept that and uh, run this job again the job is running now so let's wait the job is now completed so let's uh, see the results and uh, again we are now in visualization mode and uh, actually this was the exact point from where i have started the recording of our macro so for 30 millimeter of displacement if i want to see the deformation in the width in one window and deformation in the thickness in another window i can again go create the new viewport and then tile them vertically and then put each viewport in the appropriate point of view and then play and see how the deformation compares or we can just uh, go to file macro manager and run this particular macro so let's see so we can see as i have run this macro the, all these steps all these clicks 
that starting from uh, the visualization or the first visualization window up to setting up two viewports and linking them together and uh, playing the video has been immediately shown here by using a single click. Of course, if you want, we can look at the stress distribution. Hope this trick can save you some time.